Well, good Monday morning. I hope everybody's having a good week and had a great weekend. And um, I just want to come on and do an update. I'm on vacation. The first day of vacation, I went to Wendover. I did not win, but I did take, <laughs> I took money and I spent eight hours playing what I took. So I had a very long, entertaining visit. So I may go back again this week, go to a different casino. Because um, though the Nugget is older, they took out almost all their video poker machines because they were broken and they didn't have parts for them. So there's a couple other older casinos there too. Um, the Red Garter and the Pepper Mill. I might run out damp back and go to those and see what they have. Um, some of them are connected and some of them aren't. So uh, like there's one across the street called Montego Bay. And there's a bridge that goes back and forth over the road that's protected from the elements. And um, I guess for a while it was closed. I haven't been there since the pandemic. So I haven't been there in like what? Three years, four years. So I didn't even know it had been closed. Somebody told me they reopened it. I'm like, oh, okay. But it's a different, it's a different owner at that casino. So I'm sure they had closed it because they didn't want people going over there back and forth. Um, but anyway, I played for eight hours on the money I took. That That's like unheard of. That's awesome. And I wasn't playing. I was playing like 50 cents a pop. And I did, um, oh, and I didn't get a video. I like the um, a aliens from Planet Moolah. And there was a really big one. And I got the bonus twice. And it was so fun. And I was, I didn't get have my camera out to record it. It was so fun watching it because it's so entertaining. And I was waiting for another one, and I didn't get another one. So, um, yeah, I didn't get that. But I might try that one again when I go back, because it's really, really fun to watch. It's very entertaining, which is a high volatility game. It's high risk. You normally don't... I mean, you can win those games, and you can win big, but it's, you know, it's few and far between. If you're just going for entertainment, high, volat uh, high risk games are not... They don't make your money last. I had a really good day since I was only going to be there one day. If I was going to be there like more than one day, yeah, I would have uh, spread it out a little bit, took a break. Um, but I got home. It was about dark and I don't drive well in dark. So it was kind of stressful at the end of getting home in the dark. But anyway, so that was my first day of vacation. So the next two days, Saturday and Sunday, I kind of didn't do anything. I'm, 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 uh, my doctor's switching one of my medications and I'm kind of glad I'm on vacation to check it out, see how I'm going to react to it. So one of them's being switched so I can feel the effects of one of them coming out of my system. You know how you, it's sort of a withdrawal type of a thing. And then I'm taking the other one to replace it. And I'm kind of glad I'm home doing this because I, in case it doesn't work out well, I still have the other one. I can start taking it again. Um, so yeah, so I Saturday and Sunday I didn't really do much. Watch my NASCAR race. I missed an appointment. I was supposed to go with a friend and go walking. And you know, when you get old and you get in a routine, and then you add something, sometimes you forget. Yeah, I totally forgot I had made plans with her, and I am so sorry. Um, I was supposed to go walking, and fortunately, um, she had a lot of people show up. Now, let me tell you what, what this um, app is, and it's legitimate. It's not, I mean, it could be used for dating, but it's not. Technically, it's called Meetup. And you go and look around and see if there's any people in your area that have groups that are doing things that you'd be interested in joining. Um, one of them is a coffee shop that promotes their own meetups in their coffee shop for people to come and play games. Yeah. And any anybody can go. It's like um, 1 o'clock on Sundays, and they open up their 
an area in their coffee shop, I guess. And then, you know, you buy their coffee, you get to know, you chit chat with other people. Maybe just you bring a friend and you guys can play games together or meet up with some other people in any games. Bring your own deck of cards. Bring your own game. I mean, this would have been awesome for me and, and Max. We played Crazy Eights. I think, what, didn't one game last us a week or two weeks or something? It was awesome. We took it with us to summer camp. <laughs> we played it in the bus. We played it in the campgrounds, uh, the classrooms. We played it everywhere. <laughs> it was so fun. And we had one game lasted us a long time. It was very funny. Um, but, yeah, that was something... And I, I enjoy, when I need to know how to play a game, I go online. Um, I had Pogo.com. And I don't have my membership right now because I spend all my time on YouTube. So, but they have the games on there. You can learn to play hearts. You can learn to play spades, euchre, um, canasta, bridge, all those games they have on there. And you can go on and you can just kind of learn to play them so that if you want to play them in real life, you know how cribbage i love cribbage my parents played cribbage all the time so i learned how to play cribbage um canasta i like to play it on the computer because it's very fast you can play very fast um bridge spades hearts yeah i i just learned how to play those games online so i didn't do much other than that on the weekend um i have things to do but i have a 10-day vacation I don't want to do everything all in one day. Yeah, I'd like to do nothing all in one day, right? Am I right? So I've done the two days of nothing, which, oh my God, you guys that are crocheting <laughs> crystals. Yeah, I got to get it. I'll got to get into the crocheting. You guys that are crocheting crystals, um, shawl along. Oh my God. Have you done the flowers? Oh, part four. I think, what, the second row is the bottom part of the flowers. Crochet five together. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I've only had, like, two disasters, three disasters where I'd had to redo it because I couldn't get it through. It got caught on something. But, yeah, that's that's an interesting thing. I'm not going to do that more than once. That No, if she does that again, I'll just do a row of doubles or something. <laughs> I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> It's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very pretty because what I did, I guess I can show you what I did was I sort of color controlled it. I took the coral color that was here and went ahead and did that in the flowers so they would stand out when, when they were done because it started going gray again and light so I, I decided to do the coral because there's only like four colors on this yarn like grays and then whites and pinks that's it so um i didn't want to add another one that doesn't already belong but so yeah this is how this is how it's turning out the five together now one side one side of my shawl has 104 stitches and the other has 96 yeah, we're not even. We're kind of like a woman and her, her set of hoo-hahs. One's bigger than the other. And so one side with has eight flowers. And the other side may end up with nine. Or I may just do the eight and when I get to the eight. But that side that, has, that I did first, I did the two. It's supposed to be three singles and a slip. A slip stitch. Well, I did two singles and a slip stitch. Just, you know, trying to do it from memory. I watch her do it once and then I do it from memory. Well, yeah, memory's not so good. Even two, two, a minute later, it's just not so good. So, yeah, this the one side's got the two and the one. Well, the other side is longer, so I'm doing the three and the one the way I'm supposed to. So I may end up with nine flowers. It depends. And I don't really care if it's crooked. I mean, once you once you get it done and put it on and wear it, it's not even going to matter. It might even be better off having one side longer than the other because you can wrap it or you can um, cinch it up and, and, and put a shawl clip on it. It might work out better. So that is what I'm doing for this. I'm almost done with the second side. 
And then apparently when we come back across the top, this hole in the middle will be doing five puffs into that hole. That's my guess. That's my um, idea because we have to make the other part of the flower go around. And um, so, yeah, very, she, she's just brilliant. She is so brilliant just doing this randomly. She's such a, uh, she loves math. She's already mentioned that many times. She loves math and she's thinking, you know, and, and all of us have talents in those ways, you know, in our own way, we have a talent for stuff like that. Well, this is her talent. She has a vision and she can see what she does and how it's going to uh, play out sometimes. Now the, the point, yeah, I have my, um, I have my doubts about this point. My point is like totally puckered in there. So my thought is when we get to the other side, we're really, really going to have to uh, do something. There should have been some more chains or something here. Unless I did it wrong, but I think I, oh, 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 maybe I did. I don't know. No, I got my five. Well, I don't know. Yeah, mine's like totally puckered down, so I don't know. I may end up having to do extra change and just go over the top of it or something. I don't know. I have also f um, faked a few things because I didn't want to look up the video and I just went in the middle and did something to make it go. But which could be why I'm off on one side or the other. I do not know. But I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to um, try to... I'm not going to try to even it out again. I'm just going to follow what she's doing. And um, it's obvious that by the time I got to the other end, I couldn't remember what I did at the beginning, which is not unusual. So, okay, that's that one. I have my, my hooker to hooker project. I'm not ready to present it to you yet, but, um, I did finish it like two weeks ago <laughs> and I have, I have a, a before, uh, uh, I have a picture of the pattern that I was following. And then I have the project that I ended up with totally two different things. <laughs> so I gotta, I gotta bring that one out and do that because they're going to have their uh, finale pretty soon. I want to do it before they have their next, their, their reveal. I want to do it before they have their reveal. So, um, that, and, um, I haven't worked on Lisa's crochet along because happy to hook, because I've been trying to keep up with this. I'm really trying to keep up with this. And, um, I don't know how that's going to turn out because it's not going down. It's just staying flat. I'm kind of worried about it actually. I may end up like um, Laura's stuff and be a plant holder, or, or or I can cinch it up and make it into a bag. I've done that before. My hats don't turn out, so I just cinch them up and make them into bags. Um, I also have a suggestion for some people doing some craft fairs coming up in the summer and the spring. Don't forget about water bombs. This is something you could do. Um, they're very quick. And you could make a, uh, they're made with blanket yarn. They look like little, little, um, hand grenades. Very quick to make with the blanket yarn. And it's squishy. If you have blanket yarn you don't want to use for anything else, you can use it for this. It's, they absorb water. They're squishy. They're washable. You could, what you can do is you can do a package or like, yeah, make a package. Make about a dozen of them or two dozen of them if somebody has a lot of kids. And make a bag that looks like another hand grenade with a, a tie at the top that you can close up and store them all inside and charge $30 or more for something like that that hardly takes any time at all. $25. And it's a great idea because summer's coming and the kids can go outside, play with these. They're reusable. There's no little pieces of balloon to break and get caught in their throat and they die or anything like that. You know, the dogs get a hold of the balloons. It's washable, reusable. It's, yeah. And you can even throw them around in the house without water. So, but the idea was 
I had to make them and then do a bag, make one bigger one to store them in. I mean, that's a great idea. And you can do any color you want. It doesn't have to match nothing. So depending if you want to make a dozen of them in there or two dozen of them in there for people with big families um, or just make a bunch of bombs and people can pick their own, how many ever they want, and then they've got a bag to store them in. I thought that would be kind of cool for the people that are going to craft fairs. That's an idea. I don't see, I, I haven't seen anybody, excuse me, <clears throat> I haven't seen anybody talking about anything like that, that they've sold or they're making. But that's an idea you guys could do. Maybe nobody else is making stuff like that. Um. So yeah, I think about Elaine and I'm thinking about Becky and I'm thinking about um, Lisa has blanket yarn. And um, she's getting into the, the plushy stuff. These would be even faster to make than the other stuff you're doing. Except the scrunchies, maybe. But yeah, this is really, this is really fast. And um, you could pop up a bunch of these and you could sell them as a set. 25 bucks. Yeah. So anyway, that was an idea. But I just wanted to come on and say hello. I'm getting ready to start doing stuff for my that I'm supposed to be doing on my vacation. And um, not that I really want to. I want to just lay here and nap. <sighs> well, I only have seven days left. So I, I, and I have things I want to do. It's all up here. You know, they say visualize what you want. And after I'm done visualizing, I'm very tired. And then I don't want to do it. <laughs> I'm tired of just doing it in my head I'm like oh that looks hard that looks hard I'm very tired now <laughs> I don't want to do it <laughs> but I visualize myself going out and doing things and I'm like oh I got I want to do this I want to do that I want to get up take the dogs out in the car go get some coffee come back well I talk myself out of it I can make coffee I can save seven dollars and not have to deal with the dogs in the car barking at everybody they're old they're happy just laying here sleeping they got their breakfast. That's all they really wanted. They don't know about all this stuff I was thinking about doing. So, all right, I'm going to let you go. So maybe I can get some stuff done. And um, just uh, let me know how you're doing with your uh, bod shawl. If you've gotten to that part that I'm on with the flowers. And... How it's working out for you. <laughs> so I will. Uh, I'll see you again. I get to get ready to. Let's see. What's today? Okay. If you're a regular. If you're a regular person. That's. Done my mystery yarn challenge. Um, for many many moons. And everything. And you know all about it. You can start sending me. Um, emails for me if you're interested in what number you'd like to do because um, I'm way behind I am that's one of the things I'm doing this week on my vacation I've got to get January February and March caught up I'm just I had a real funk after Christmas and I just did not feel like doing any of it and so now I got to go through all my emails and my videos and get stuff caught up which is on my list of things to do but if you know you want to play for May and you're a regular subscriber to um, player in the game, go ahead and send me your um, email, uh, myc524, and say which option you want. And I will add you to my list. I'll start a list for May because um, some of you already know. You already know you want to play. So go ahead and um, number one is you're going to give and receive mystery yarn. Number two is you'll give yarn, but you want to work on a whip. You're okay to send yarn, and, but you want to work on a whip. Number three is you don't want to send yarn or you can't send yarn, and but you'll receive yarn and, and work make a mystery yarn challenge. That is actually working out very well for a few people who don't have a lot of yarn. And I'm very happy that they're able to play because I've, I've offered that option to them. And they're making some really beautiful stuff.
They really are. They're very good. They're very talented. And then option four. Yeah, it's that finger. Can any of you do that? Hold that finger up. Oh my god, I can't do it. <laughs> that was weird. Anyway, option four is I've got so much to do. I'll just submit a whip. Now what I've done for March and April is I've allowed you to do as many whips as you want and I'm going to let you enter a entry on my random wheel for prizes for each whip that you complete. And so I'll continue that in May if you want to do more than one whip. You'll get your, your name on the wheel for each whip you complete. Send me your before pictures and then when you're done send me your after pictures. So that this is just going to be my impromptu announcement. If you already know you want to play, just go ahead and send me your emails, okay? MYC524 on the email, and then I'll know that's what it's for, okay? All right. Okay, guys. It's already, what, 10 maybe? I got to get something done besides a nap. So, because I've only got seven days of vacation left. I got to get something done so I can feel like I didn't waste it because I still have to do this stuff. Even after my vacation's over, I still have to do these things. So it's easier if I do it now. I can spread it out all day. Much better. Much easier. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your um, support. Um, we had some drama over the weekend. It's very sad. Um, everybody's been online addressing it. And, uh, so no need for me to add to that. I already have my, made my decisions on how I'm going to handle it and what I'm personally going to do. And, um, yeah, that's that. And I'm sure each of you have already made your decisions on how you want to handle it, what you, what you want to do to help or I went ahead and I bought all of Crystal's patterns she had for sale. I don't even read a pattern, but I wanted to show my support, so I bought her patterns that she was selling. Um, but that is something I need to do, is learn how to read a pattern. And that would be one of the things to do, is Crystal's, because she's brilliant, and I know hers are going to be right. So anyway, show your support to the yarn community. Go subscribe to people that, that are new. Um, some of us have our subscriptions public, so you can go through and see who we subscribe to, and maybe there's somebody new in there. And I do this every once in a while. I'll go to somebody who has a lot of subscribers, and I'll go and look and see who they subscribe to. And there may be somebody new in there that I've never heard of before, and I will go check them out. So that's an option for you, to go find somebody new in the Yarny community, or another type of community. A lot of us have a lot of interests. Yes, we do. True crime, um, fishing, golfing, all kinds of things. Food, cooking, um, diet, certain kinds of food diets that, that we like. I'm trying to look for high protein, low carb stuff. And I have some, some people that I follow. Uh, makeup reviews, um, product reviews, oh man, all kinds of things that we can be interested in. Not just crochet, you know, we need to be, expand our minds into other areas. All kinds of things. It keeps us alive and it keeps us healthy and it keeps the mind sharp. We don't want to have them brain cells dying. We got to keep it, keep them, keep them alive by being interested in learning new things all the time. It's very good need to keep learning new things so okay guys i'm gonna go this is way long enough and i'll see you again i'm gonna probably um do my uh hooker to hooker video next because it'll be a short one okay bye <laughs>